This is Mark Bell from supertraining.tv, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West, answering more questions for the Power Project and also filling you in on the cliffhanger that I left you with on the last message. Uh, I talked about Big Roy Bradshaw, how much he weighed when he benched his 903-pound bench, one of the fastest big benches I've ever seen in my life. That weight just moved uh, extremely explosively. Uh, although it was a 903-pound bench, it was not a double body weight bench press because Big Roy weighed in at nearly 500 pounds. I believe he weighed around 490 or so. So uh, there's your uh, cliffhanger answer, and let's get to uh, some stuff on the uh, on the power uh, power project here. We had a uh, someone write in and say how much they they really appreciate and they really like um, the power project, how much they're learning, and uh, they're really adapting and utilizing a lot of this stuff in their commercial gym. And uh, it just got me thinking some of the things I see in commercial gyms um, that uh, that I feel are wrong and I feel people can improve upon. And uh, maybe this will help some of you guys out there. I've also been asked a lot of questions about warm-up as of late, so I figured I'd share that with you guys as well. So let's start out with the warm-up. Uh, I see too many people uh, doing way too many reps. Your body needs to adapt to the exercise and to the amount of weight that you're going to use for the day. The amount of repetitions uh, are worthless. You don't need to do a lot of repetitions. They don't really do a whole lot for you. Now, if you're trying to add volume and you want to do 30 reps, you want to do three sets of 10 at a given weight, then that's a little bit of a different story. But if we're talking purely about strength training, or even if we're talking about doing a max, uh, max uh, set for as many reps as you can, you still want to use low repetitions in your warm-up. Again, if you're looking for added volume, you may want to use some repetitions in your warm-up to add volume to your training, but also understand that you will be lifting in a little bit weakened state when you get to your heavier sets. So, for example, uh, if you want to lift the most amount of weight as possible, what you're going to want to do, let's say your best bench is 300 pounds. We'll use that as a reference point. Your best bench is 300 pounds, and you're looking to go for a PR for the day. Start out with the bar. Do maybe two sets of 10 reps with the bar. Put on 95 pounds, do for five reps. Put on 135, five reps, 185 for five reps, 225 for five reps. Now, instead of going right to 275 and then trying 315, let's get in more, let's get a little bit more of a warm up. And uh, let's, uh, we'll do 225 for one, we'll do 250 for one, we'll do 290 for one, and then we'll go for 305. And that'll be a PR. And that's kind of the way you want to try to lie it out, lay it out. Um, you got to realize as you get closer to your max, as you get closer to that higher percentage, once you get to be above about 85%, uh, you're going to have to make some smart jumps. Even once you get over 70%, really, you're going to have to make some smart jumps um, from one weight to the next. Um, so that's a little tip on the warm-up. And then also if you want to do high reps, you know, let's say you want to do 225 for as many reps as you could, uh, again, your warm-up would be with the bar, maybe a set or two with the bar, close grip, wide grip, however you want to do it. And then uh, from there, um, do uh, 95 pounds for five, 135 for five, 185 for one, um, maybe 205 for about one rep. And then 225, have at it, go as fast and as furious as you can, and see how many reps you can pump out. So there's two different ways of kind of warming up. Um, uh, there's two similar ways of warming up to get uh, some different results there. Um, and if you're going to warm up, even let's just say you want to do some volume, let's say you want to do three sets of 10 with 225, uh, the warm-up would still be the same. You'd still use low repetitions. Uh, anything under five reps would be considered low reps. And so that's what you're going to want to utilize for your warm-ups. Um, the other topic I wanted to talk about is I see a lot of people working out backwards, as I like to call it. People are working out backwards. I know it sounds crazy, but people are doing it. Go into a commercial gym and watch someone train their chest. It's insane. They'll start out with cable crossover. And then they'll move on to like some hammer strength piece that they see open. And then uh, the bench is open now, and so now they're going to do some bench press. 
Um, that's working out backwards at its finest, folks. That's completely working out backwards. Um, maybe they'll look in the mirror and uh, do some tricep push downs for a little bit. Look at the look at the horseshoe, and uh, do a couple sets of that as well mixed in. What you want to do is you want to start out with the compound, the basic movements first. You have a bench press, you have a squat, you have a deadlift, you have a bent over row, you have an overhead press, and then you have uh, some uh, push-ups, sit-ups, um, <clears throat> all those types of basic exercises. Uh, obviously, like a push-up is going to be much easier than a bench press. So a push-up would be at the end of your workout. Um, anything that anything that's going to use less intensity your workout should start out at a high intensity and it should drop off in intensity as you continue your workout remember intensity uh, is in regards to the weight that's on the bar and it doesn't ha have anything to do with the amount of heavy metal music that you're blasting on your uh, on your iP iPod um, so what you want to have what you want to do is you want to start out with the main exercises first uh, the main event first and get that done uh, so I'll give you an example of a chest workout here's a chest workout write it down do you have a pen you didn't come prepared if you didn't come prepared then you prepared to fail my friend uh, write this shit down or watch the recording a couple times here's a chest workout for you um, start out on the bench press let's do a close grip bench press and um, let's do uh, let's work up to a heavy set of five on the on the close grip. I already taught you how to warm up, so you should already know how to do that. I'm gonna work out to a max set of five reps with a close grip. Close grip to me is just uh, your index finger on the smooth part of the bar or thumb away from the smooth part of the bar, part of the uh, thumb away from the smooth part of the barbell. Um, and again, you're going to do a max set of five. Then from there, you're going to move on to incline dumbbell bench press. Do one bullshit warm up set uh, with about 30 pound dumbbell. Just move around a little bit on the incline and then um, grab something heavy and rep it out for as many as you can. 60 pounds, 100 pounds, um, but you should be moving it for at least eight reps or more, if not closer to 20, 25 rep range. And then, um, and then we'll go to uh, flat bench uh, with dumbbells. So you're just going to do one set there. You're going to do one, you know, little warm up, and then you're going to do a big set. Um, anything uh, in eight plus rep range. Hopefully it falls between like eight and twenty reps somewhere in there. Then you're going to do a flat dumbbell bench press, and you're going to uh, do the same thing. You do one cheap set just to kind of get used to the different angle. And uh, and uh, just you know do low repetitions, and then uh, grab something heavy, 60, 80, 100 pound dumbbell, and bang out as many reps as you can. It'd be good to use the same amount of weight that you used on your incline, um, and then you can record your total amount of reps and try to improve upon improve upon that uh, the next workout. So, for example, if you did 100 pounds for uh, eight reps on the incline and then you did it for 10 reps on the flat that's 18 total reps next workout your goal is 20 reps uh, something like that so from there if you want to continue to work your chest go ahead and do cable crossover go ahead and do flies or go ahead and do push-ups uh, something like that finish up with some tricep work uh, some tricep push down something like that um, Again, if you're doing triceps, you'd want to start with a more compound movement, the hardest exercise first. So rather than doing tricep pushdowns on a machine, you would want to do skull crushers first and then tricep pushdowns afterwards. That's how you should be training out there. And uh, for the next cliffhanger, I'm going to say, I've mentioned this before in uh, other posts, but... Uh, can you people out there guess what is the greatest quote in the history of Super Training Gym? There's a couple great ones, but there's only one There's only one that's the best. So uh, stay tuned for that cliffhanger. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page, youtube.com backslash supertraining06. Don't forget to check out supertraining.tv. Don't forget to check out thepowermagazine.com. And don't forget to buy a slingshot. Because without all those things going in the right direction, we have no power project. And if you're not following the power project, then you have no life. I'm out of here.